जय श्री कृष्ण दिस इज द न्यू वीडियो इन द डिफरेंशिएशन टिल नाउ वी एक्सप्लेन डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स इक्वल टू कास एक्स डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ कास एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस साइन एक्स लाइक दट एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वन हाउ डिड यू गेट दैट वन वी कैन गेट दम दैट प्रोसेस इज नोन एज फंडामेंटल ए बी इनिशियो फॉर्मले इन द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट नेम्स आर देर फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ मेथड्स जस्ट आई एम प्रूविंग दैट वन हियर डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एक्स इक्वल टू हाउ मच that we have to prove it here first principles means we have to think that function given function as f of x always you have to calculate f of x plus h here some chances are there to get confusion sin x plus h is the wrong ex expression sin of x plus h this is the right expression you shouldn't write like this what is the meaning of sin x is the different and h is the different but h and x are not separate the total one angle only from here onwards f of x plus h when you are writing you have to write in the total way next one we should apply the formula for any sum this is the general formula limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h Minus f of x whole by this is the common formula. Every time we have to use it. Next one we are substituting the values. Limit h tends to zero. F of x plus h value sine of x plus h minus f of x value sine x whole by h is there. here we are applying the trigonometric transformations if you have any doubt in this one please watch my previous video there you can see this one this is in the form of limit h tends to 0 this is in the form of sin c minus sin d 2 cos c plus d by 2 into sin C minus d whole by two whole by h. Next one, here check it. Plus x minus x cancelled. Now here in this one, x plus x equal to two x. Limit h tends to zero. This must you should write this till end. 2 cos 2x plus h by 2 into sin h by 2 whole by h. Now you can write this two as denominator of this one. How limit h tends to zero. H tends to zero. Cos of two x by two plus h by two into sine of h by two whole by. You can write this two as denominator of this h. I said that is h by two. This two automatically goes up. Denominator denominator will be a numerator by using that condition. This two will automatically goes up. That's why you can write this two. Here also. Now you can cancel this two and this two. Now we will separate the limits. Limit h tends to zero. Limit h tends to zero. Cos x plus h by two into limit h by h tends to zero. Sin h by two by h by two. You can separate into is there between them. you can write h by 2 either here or here if you write here the condition is there see this one limit h tends to zero means h by 2 tends to is also zero by using one particular formula limit h tends to limit theta tends to zero sin theta by theta 
equal to 1 by using this formula limit h by 2 tends to 0 sin h by 2 by h by 2 value is always 1 only by using that formula in the remaining place we are substituting here cos of x plus 0 into 1 y means already just explained limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta equal to 1 here also same conditions are there limit h by 2 tends to 0 sin h by 2 by h by 2 this value is 1 then x plus 0 equal to x that is why differentiation of sin x equal to cos x 1 sum over we will take one more sum y equal to tan x we will take it generally in the first principles instead of y we have to take it as f of x f of x equal to tan x just what i said immediately you have to calculate f of x plus h now that is writing tan x plus h this is the wrong tan of x plus h you have to write like this okay next one we are applying the here limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole by h after that we are substituting the values limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h value tan of x plus h minus f of x value tan x whole by h in the transformations we have only two three formulas sin c minus sin d sin c plus sin d cos c minus cos d cos c plus cos d only those are there tan c minus tan d that formula is not there that is why we are going into the roots of the trigonometry limit h tends to 0 the sign can be tan can be written as sin of x plus h whole by cos of x plus h yes tan can be written as sin by cos minus this tan x is there sin x by cos x already total denominator h is there that we don't forget to write that one in the numerator this is the numerator totally what will be the LCM? Can you guess? Limit h tends to 0, the product of the two functions cos of x plus h into cos x. This is the LCM. Then different values of denominators are there. Then cos x into sin of x plus h, sin of x plus h into cos x middle minus is there we are keeping minus in there here next cos of x plus h into sin x whole by h it is there now limit h tends to 0 sin a cos b minus cos a sin b this is in the same form now that is the sin of a minus b sin of a here a equal to x plus h minus b value equal to x whole by the h also coming to this place into cos of x plus h into cos x this x and x cancels then limit h tends to 0 sin h by h into cos of x plus h into cos x here we can separate the limits limit h tends to 0 sin h by h into 1 by limit h tends to 0 cos of x plus h into cos x. As I said just before, 
limit h tends to 0 sin h by h value equal to 1 into in the remaining places we are substituting the value of h cos of x plus 0 into cos x that is 1 by cos square x cos x into cos x since h value equal to 0 substituted this is 1 by cos square x that is nothing but secant square x then d by dx of tan x equal to d by dx of tan x equal to secant square x this process is known as first principles a b initio from fundamentals or formulae whatever it can use you can use it no problem in that case for everything we have to do the same thing what we have to do first whatever the given function that you have to think it as f of x after that what we have to do f of x plus h you have to find then limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x whole by h that formula you have to apply then substitute the value of f of, f of x plus h minus f of x total values what are they substitute which is the required formula apply you can get the answer in that one do not forget limit theta tends to 0 sin theta by theta equal to 1 always if you like this video please like share and subscribe with your near and dear thank you